the frequency of both type 1 and type 2 diabetes has increased. In type 1 diabetes, worldwide, there's been a gradual increase in its incidence, and especially incidence of type 1 diabetes in the younger children has been increasing. More and more children are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at ages less than 5. So it's very important for pediatricians as well as family members to be aware so that if the symptoms occur, they should be identified relatively quickly. Type 2 diabetes used to be a condition that was very infrequently seen in the pediatric population. We have seen a significant increase in that, especially in adolescents. And for those individuals, obesity is almost 100% uh, a, a concomitant. Almost never do we see type 2 diabetes in children who are not obese. Can occur, but rarely. Similarly, since obesity is so common, we occasionally see children with type 1 diabetes who also are somewhat obese. And occasionally, there is difficulty in diagnosing who has type 1 and who has type 2 diabetes. And we actually proposed a term several years ago that we called them children with diabetes undetermined at diagnosis that then subsequently will declare itself whether it's type 1 or type 2 diabetes. There are other forms of diabetes that the healthcare providers need to be aware of, which are much less common, but still they do occur. One such form is something called monogenic diabetes, previously called uh, maturity onset diabetes of the young, MODI diabetes. Uh, and one of the clues to that form of diabetes is multi-generational inheritance, having three generations of individuals with somewhat atypical forms of diabetes may lead to that. We had a child not that long ago who presented with just slightly abnormal glucose results. When we did a history, the mother also had a similar history, and her mother as well had a form of diabetes that may or may not have required treatment. We diagnose a form of monogenic diabetes in that child and in that family.